guys, welcome to American Beer TV, and we're back with one of our favorites, the brewery. The brewery. We yeah. love these guys. We do. We really, really do. They are just they fucking rocking. Yeah. And we've got so many of their beers back there that we really need to get through them because they make this awesome stuff that. Uh, yeah, know, I always, I always show up at the brewery and I, and I go, yeah, I'm just going to go have a beer and then I end up, you know, coming home. 150 bucks later, seriously. Um, this is their collaboration with Lawson's Finest Liquids up in Vermont. So, okay, their uh, collaboration with uh, a Vermont brewery. So what is Vermont known for? Maple. That's Maple right. syrup. So this is a, a stout, a bourbon barrel aged stout. No, it's not, it's not bourbon, bourbon barrel aged. It's, it's a, uh, aged on oak cubes. cubes. Correction. Uh, a stout aged on oak cubes made with maple syrup, and this I found really interesting. They smoked malt with maple wood. Oh, cool. So they took chunks of maple wood and used that in a smoker to smoke the malts. Although, I don't know how much maple flavor is actually going to come from that. No, so, it's just the smoke. Yeah. Primarily, but but it's you know keeping with. And you know what? And I'm picking up the smoke and the aroma. I am definitely picking up nine and a half smoke. percent. Yeah, too. I'm definitely picking up the smoke and the aroma. Ooh, yeah, totally. So this is like a blend between a Roush beer and a stout in a, with maple in a aged in. See what I mean? How can you fucking resist that? If you went to the store and you saw this or wherever and you saw a beer this whacked out, how could you say? Nah, I don't think I want to taste that. Yeah. I mean, stupid. It may it may seem like we we really favor the brewery here on the show, but a they're close to us. They're one of the closest. And b they do just some awesome outlandish shit that we can't resist. And honestly, I don't think you, any of you guys could either, really. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. You, so you, smoke you is really predominant. Yeah. Find someone on the west coast to bottle trade or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's around. I still see it. They, they've got a bunch of this beer. The last time I was at the brewery, really? they still had some. A, yeah, cooler, Eastern yeah. Purchase. I did try I this at the, at the too. brewery uh, third anniversary, so if you go back to that video, you'll see my, my taste of it. I don't remember what I said. Uh, I was pretty <laughs> gone really? for like the last half of that. Um, really? You think so? Yeah, I don't know. After you the, were drinking and, and And my palate shot, so, you know, after Black Tuesday and Oud Tart, you know, everything starts to taste just... Yeah, nice. definitely smoky, but really a nice, nice smoke. Yeah. Let's taste it. Cause yeah, let's get into it. Cheers. Right. Yep. Subtle oak. The yeah. smoke. The smoke is really. Smoke is the predominant. It's yeah. predominantly a smoked stout. Um, I'm not not. S it's pretty black. It's got a little bit of a brown hue, not like the red hue. It's got a little bit That's of that kind of a, a little bit of that black coffee notes coming from. Mm -hmm. the, I don't remember this being um, being considered. I don't remember considering this a really smoky ale, mm -hmm. but it certainly is. Yeah, it's like a smoked imperial stout. Yeah, it is. I'm not picking up too much of uh, maple syrup in there, although most of that sweetness that you associate with maple syrup would have yeah, been. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, if you if you didn't say out. if you didn't say on the bottle that there was maple syrup in there, you probably would. No. But you know what? But I've had other stouts brewed with maple syrup, and it, you could tell. Yeah, because it's I like think the, the black the, malts, the roasted malts, really just dominate. And, and, and the sweetness ferments out, and so you're left with this. Earthiness. You would be left with this. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah try to try to try to figure out what yeah, you the need, flavor you of maple to, yeah, is without. You, yeah, you need the to brew something on the you know red or brown yeah. to do. To really get that, or after the yeast have flocculated, back sweeten it with some maple syrup if you want it yeah. to have that maple flavor. But just I mean, there's a hint of extract. What no. about maple extract? No, <laughs> there is a tiny hint of it in there. I mean, it's got a great mouthfeel. Yeah, I don't care. It's got a nice 
nice. I'm sure the, I'm sure the maple adds to the complexity. Correct. Of what we're but but this but is it, also to, such a to pick really complex beer. And taste it. Yeah, not really. yeah. No, I hear you. There is some oak in there. Yeah. There the is oak, some oak up front. The oak totally comes through, and the smoke comes through. Yeah. Smoked oak. Totally. Although it smoked maple wood. But. No, this is a, this is a fine, fine beer. Um, no, I hear you. Oh, cheers. I so, right on. Cheers. Get out there and drink some smoked maple syrup craft beer. Awesome. Fantastic yeah. stuff.